Back of the naturopath. Thanks for coming back and looking at this channel. We have a question here, and it is how can we attack, or how can I attack the protective coating of slime and mucus, which provides protection for bacteria in my gut? You don't really want to do things like this. Why would you want to go in there and attack stuff inside your body, man? It sounds like ISIS or, you know, Hezbollah, or whatever you call those groups that run around with machetes and guns and stuff like that. You don't need to attack, okay? Attacking is something that bad people do. It's not what good people do. You don't need to attack, all right? So let's have a look. Let's carefully analyze this question. We're talking about the mucus coating, the protective slime mucus coating. So you're probably talking about the brush border of the small intestine. You could be talking about the mucus lining inside your stomach or there's mucus all throughout. Your body produces liters of that stuff a day. Isn't that wonderful? So you don't attack this kind of thing. If you want to keep the brush border clean and you want to keep the mucus clean in your body, there's a couple of things that you need to understand. One I've always discovered with people, when they eat too many carbs, especially refined carbs, if they don't chew properly, if they've got poor enzyme control, they produce way too much mucus and <laughs> phlegm and snot and all this kind of stuff, whatever you want to call it. They're always blocked up, they're spitting out stuff, their nose is blocked. This often means that they're eating way too much sweet stuff or floury, starchy kind of food and they're not breaking it down properly. Uh, and B, their enzymes are really not in a great place. They need to have a better control of their digestive enzymes, okay? Too much mucus in the body uh, will certainly be a breeding ground for bacteria that love to sit in there and then you'll cough out that green stuff and then you'll have an infection. So to start with, you need to really cut back on these kind of foods. So if you've got a lot of phlegm or mucus in the body, think, where the hell is it coming from? What am I eating? What am I eating too much of? Okay, it's often one food, way too much. It could be crisps or chips, it could be uh, pretzels, it could be peanuts, it could be white bread, it could be, what do they call in America? Peanut butter and jelly. I don't know what the jelly part means. Here in New Zealand, we talk about jelly. We're talking about that wobbly kind of stuff that you, you, know, you take out the fridge and it goes all over the place. That's jelly. Can't work that one out. But anyway, that's sugar. Now you'll say to me, but hang on, you're a beekeeper. Now I am a beekeeper and I eat a lot of honey, but mucus or phlegm, nice clear sinuses, natural sugar, all right? As soon as you start the white stuff, you get more phlegm, you get more mucus. And that's the breeding ground. Look at the causes of why you've got phlegm or mucus, if you have got it. But if we're talking phlegm or mucus in the brush border, okay, which you can't see, you can also have too much mucus in the gut. Keep an eye on the stool, okay? When you do number twos, go to the toilet, the eyeball test, remember? Oh my goodness, look at all that mucus on my stool, okay? Think about that. Now that can be poor digestion, all right? In these cases, you can get end up getting all sorts of gut problems with too much mucus. So the question was, how do I attack it? Well, if you want to keep the brush border clean, eat clean food, okay? Having pizzas and Coke and fries and sundaes all the time is not really a good diet in terms of you know, keeping your gut in great shape. Eating natural foods, eating fermented foods, cultured foods like yogurt, eating some garlic, Okay, eating the foods we speak a lot about on this channel will keep your gut in a much cleaner state than eating the wrong kind of foods. It sounds like many people beat the same drum, all right? When it, they, they say, talk about eating healthy. <clears throat> but the crazy thing on Google is many people also completely contradict a lot of the information which I give to people, saying it's bad. For example, when I talk about eating garlic, many people still believe it's the devil's food, you know? I don't know where that comes from. Garlic's an awesome food for keeping the gut clean. Many spices are like that too, and many herbs are like that. So eating more fresh, eating more spices and herbs, putting more lemon in the diet, putting more apple cider vinegar in the diet, putting yogurt in the diet, uh, sauerkraut, all these foods help to protect and clear and clean those layers uh, in your gut. And that, of course, is going to help to, you to prevent getting a lot of different kinds of diseases. But so many people still don't understand these basic concepts, okay? And that's still why today we have so much diabetes and heart disease and these terrible diseases. It should come from the top, but uh, it's not, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully one day there'll be that much education about what we're talking about now, 
that it will just be if given, it'll be known that this is what you do. If you do that, well, you're a bit of a twerp. All right. Thanks for tuning in.